Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue shaded quadrilateral uh, ABED fully confined uh, in a big uh, triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this uh, tiny side uh, BE length uh, is 5 units, whereas uh, this side uh, AD length uh, is uh, 11 units. And moreover, uh, this angle uh, BAD is uh, 60 degrees. And likewise, this angle ABE is uh, 60 degrees as well. And furthermore, this angle uh, is uh, 90 degrees uh, angle. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded uh, region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. And let's focus on this uh, big triangle uh, ABC. And now let's recall the triangle sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. And we know this angle in this triangle ABC is 60 degrees. This angle is... Uh, 60 degrees as well. So therefore, uh, this third angle has got to be a 60 degrees uh, angle as well. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, triangle ABC is our uh, equilateral uh, triangle since all of these uh, angles uh, in this uh, triangle are 60 degrees each. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, side AB has got to be equal to this side uh, BC and that's also going to be equal to this side uh, AC. That means all these uh, sides uh, are uh, congruent. And now since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, blue shaded region, and now let's make an observation and focus on this uh, equation. The blue shaded uh, region area is going to be equal to the area of the big triangle uh, ABC minus uh, the area of this uh, small triangle uh, CDE. And here our small triangle is uh, CDE triangle. So therefore now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC and the area of the other triangle uh, CDE as well. Before we could calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded uh, region. And now we are going to focus on this uh, tiny right triangle uh, CDE. We know in this uh, triangle this angle is uh, 60 degrees. This angle is our 90 degrees uh, angle. So therefore uh, this third angle has got to be our uh, 30 degrees uh, angle. So therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle is our special uh, 30, 60, 90 triangle. Since this angle is 30 degrees, this angle is 60 degrees, and this angle is 90 degrees. And here we can see this uh, 30 degrees is our smallest angle, and this 90 degrees is our largest angle. So therefore, uh, this side is going to be our uh, smallest uh, leg, since this is uh, opposite to this uh, smallest uh, angle. And this uh, hypotenuse is going to be our uh, longest uh, leg since this is opposite to our uh, largest angle. So therefore, in such kind of special 30, 60, 90 triangle, the longest leg is uh, twice the smallest leg. If the smallest leg is one, then the longest leg has got to be two. And this third leg is going to be square root of uh, three. And in general, if I call this uh, smallest leg as uh, x, then this uh, longest leg is going to be 2 times uh, x and third leg is going to be x uh, times uh, the square root of 3. And now our task is to find the value of uh, x. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, bc side length is going to be 2x uh, plus 5. So I can write that one as uh, 2x uh, plus uh, 5. And likewise, the side uh, AC length is going to be x uh, plus 11. So I can write uh, x uh, plus uh, 11. And we know that this uh, triangle ABC is our equilateral triangle. That means uh, 
this side BC equal to this side AC. So therefore 2x plus 5 has got to be equal to x plus 11. So therefore I can write 2x plus 5 must be equal to x plus 11. And now I'm going to drag this uh, x uh, to the left hand side and at the very same time I'm going to move this uh, 5 in the opposite direction. And if we subtract we're going to get x equal to 6 units. So therefore our uh, this uh, x value turns out to be 6 units. This 2x means 2 times 6 is going to give us uh, 12 units and likewise uh, this side uh, x times square root of 3 is going to become 6 times uh, the square root of 3. So thus once again our this uh, CD length turns out to be 6. Uh, this uh, EC length uh, is 12 and this uh, ED length uh, is 6 times square root of 3. And now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, BC length uh, is going to be 5 plus 12 is going to give us uh, 17 units. And likewise, uh, this side AC length is going to be 6 uh, plus 11 is going to give us uh, 17 units as well. So therefore, uh, this side uh, AB has got to be 17 units as well since this is an equilateral triangle. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, big uh, triangle uh, ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times uh, a times b times sine of angle uh, c. As you can see in this uh, triangle, this is our side uh, a, this is our side b, and c is the angle in between. And here our two sides for this triangle abc are uh, 17 uh, units, and this side uh, is uh, 17 units uh, as well. And the angle in between is uh, 60 degrees. So therefore, uh, this triangle ABC area has got to be a half uh, times uh, one side is 17, the other side is 17 as well, times the uh, sine of our angle 60 degrees. And now we know that sine of 60 degrees is always uh, square root of 3 divided by 2. So therefore, I'm going to replace this sine of 60 degrees with the square root of 3 divided by 2. And likewise, if we multiply all these numbers, that is going to give us uh, 289 divided by 2. Let's uh, multiply and simplify. That is going to give us uh, 289 times the square root of 3 divided by 4 square units. So thus the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC turns out to be 289 times square root of 3 divided by 4 and we could have used this uh, another formula as well since we are dealing with this uh, equilateral triangle and the area of this equilateral triangle is always equal to square root of 3 divided by 4 times uh, a square in our case our a value is 17 and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, right triangle uh, cde and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times uh, base times the height of the triangle. And in our case, uh, the base of this triangle is uh, 6 uh, units, whereas the height uh, is uh, 6 times uh, square root of 3. So therefore, the area of this triangle uh, CDE is going to be a half uh, times the base is uh, 6 uh, times the height is 6 uh, times the square root of 3. If we multiply and simplify, that is going to give us uh, 18 times uh, square root of 3. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded uh, region. So therefore, let's recall this equation once again. The blue shaded region area is equal to the triangle ABC area minus the triangle CDE area as well. And we here we already figured out uh, the area of the triangle ABC and the triangle uh, CDE area as well. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So that is going to give us uh, 289 times the square root of 3 divided by 4 minus uh, 18 times the square root of 3. 
and here we can tweak this uh, 18 times square root of 3 as uh, 72 times square root of 3 divided by 4 as you can see in this uh, next step and if we subtract uh, these uh, numerators uh, that is going to give us uh, 217 times uh, square root of 3 divided by 4 square uh, units uh, the area of this uh, blue shaded quadrilateral so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, blue shaded region uh, turns out to be a 217 times square root of 3 all over 4 square units and that's going to be approximately equal to 93.964 square units as well thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye